Good have you guys gone out yet? Uh, no, dear. Josiah is there. Oh, he's, he's fe feeding the pig. Okay. Looks like they've got chores covered. Very special today. Probably one of our very last gardening projects. The silage tarp is great. It's suppre look, suppress the weeds. It's got this nice and fallow. This, as good as this is, I'd rather have plants or animals do the work of the farm. So I'm going to pull this up and plant it in a fall cover crop. Hopefully it's not too late. It's about mid-October here in zone seven. Oh look, some volunteer sweet potatoes still come. This one I know I didn't shape. We just covered. Yeah, I can tell, yeah. yeah I can tell, I definitely didn't shape this. This right here in our raised beds, we did the same thing. We planted that fall cover crop. Doesn't that look much better than the black plastic? And then this cover crop does all sorts of things. Adds nitrogen covers the ground mother nature is modest remember she likes to be covered and this is a beautiful dress Haruna I know right there we shaped those beds put compost on it because we planted there uh -huh. do you remember if we shaped no. and composted these no we didn't dang I was hoping we did okay because it was still full wasn't yeah, it yeah it was still had like watermelon okay. and other stuff all right because <laughs> when we shape these we're gonna add compost same thing over here. One of these we're gonna get going though and plant it in garlic. Yep. So one of these we're gonna prioritize. So I might <clears throat> I might shape these this bed first. Guys, <laughs> we just launched this book. You you know this. We closed cart on our launch last night. 5,300 books ordered. You guys rock, thank you very much. I'm sure Chris, uh, Joel is just gonna be ecstatic. And tonight's the webinar, so by the time you're seeing this, that's gonna be over. So, you know, we had some launch specials, but the book is actually still for sale. I mean, Joel's signing till the end of December. All the digital bonuses, all the like companion um, movies where Joel explained the hair, Joel and Chris explained the hair, how to build the hairpin, the feather net, the the, bro the broiler pin, and there was one other. Oh, and the Rackin House. Those still go along when you order the book through us. So, yeah, the the, the sticker, the webinar is gone. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. I can give you guys the webinar replay. How about that? I'll just include that. If you guys missed out on the sale, maybe money was tight, maybe you're waiting on a paycheck, something like that, whatever. Um, you guys wanna get it on the second batch, you can always go to a link in the description or polyfacedesigns.com. Thank you, again, thank you guys. You guys totally blew it out of the water. Blew my mind, blew Joel's mind. And think about this, five, over 5,000, well, they sold, over a thousand, so like six, six, seven thousand people are getting this book and plans. That means things are going to get done. That means th farms and homesteads are going to be going at this at a, in a regenerative, peaceful way. That's huge. Well, I uncovered this. And problem number, I mean, I guess I knew it wasn't going to disappear these vines in just a few weeks, but <coughs> uh, I think, guys. They're gonna be easy enough to pick up. It's gonna kinda of have to be shovel with all these in here. So let's pick them up. The winter housing is sorta of gonna become our new uh, compost corner. There's our help. Everybody's getting down here. Yeah, it's, it's not taking no time. Our room's got the rake. We'll all just gird up our loins and grab it by hand. They've run off with our green rake. Unless you guys know where our green rake is. That would speed things up. You guys. They've gotten the area pretty good. We've gotten the area pretty good. You got a big old pile, gonna go to the chickens. Now, I've taken a mark from my corner and I've drawn the string, and now we're gonna dig out that path to reshape our beds. You gonna get that in, bro? Yeah. I'll get this in.
Arun and Lily have gone to milk. Isn't that a beautiful scene? John and I are gonna have to press through because, guys, it may be warm today. It's quite warm, it's kinda nice. But it's getting colder, days are getting shorter. We're running out of time to plant. We gotta get this garlic in the ground. We gotta get this covered in cover crops. So we're pushing through, that's the goal today. And in order to plant garlic, over there in that row, we have to shape all the beds up to it and get two loads of compost on that garlic bed. Make it look nice and then grit it and plant it. It's, it's, it's ambitious. Boom! I think you guys cut out at the end because battery change, battery change. Arun's getting done. We've got these raised beds. We want to put down compost, but here, let's throw this into the chicken. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Lily, will you open that door for me? Okay, I will, I will. Thank you, Gideon. I'll be happy to get this eyesore of a tarp out of here. Wow, I thought there was another tar. A black another tar. Something does look awfully nice about that. Doesn't that look nice? But now, we're gonna get our gritter. But to do our gritter, we need to go ahead and get our line. So we put a stake here, stake on the other end, tie a string, and that way we can go straight with our gritter. I'm gonna go ask Rebecca if we had another gritter. I think three might have been it, but let's just make sure. Hey, hey. do you remember how many gritters came with that thing? Three. Okay, there we uh, have it. Is that the garlic right there? Mm -hmm. Oh, did I miss it? about to come. It? What? I'm about to come. Oh, it, oh was, okay, it was sitting in that chair. Well, we're ready for you. We're gritting around now then. Jonah already gritted. It's ready to go. So these, these are spaced every six, six just inches. Uh -huh. Okay, so that grid should do. I think technically it's seven, but. And how many how many rows do we put in one row? Four. We oh, don't good. need any more. Perfect. Rebecca, you're shelling the. You're not shelling them. You're just breaking the cloves apart. Okay. Apparently. They come in bulbs. But you got to the plant in cloves. So apparently you can get them in single cloves. I did not know that. Uh, uh, next year we learn something yeah. new every year. We got a rune putting on the compost. The rest of the beds we're gonna plant in cover crop. Rebecca's gonna, oh, sorry. Re Rebecca's gonna finish doing that. And we can plant while you're doing that, I reckon. Yes. Now, I, I forget, we plant, some. I think we plant. Tip up, tip it says up. it in that paper. Oh, okay, well, you tell me. If you know, I'll go know. by what you say. Get the paper. Push the clove, root in, round it in, down about two to three inches into the soil. The goal, is to get the roots going, but not necessarily the greens before winter. I don't know if we've ever succeeded in that. I think but. that you, well, it could be because where we live. So yeah. let's do three inches deep as opposed to two. Well, I was gonna say, and also, more mulch. Um, that put in heavier straw loads. Yeah, if y'all wanna do that, I'll start planting. We found out it was really hard to get them in there. This is kind of the worst row of all these because it was so near the, Wait, Lily, the, 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 the construction of the greenhouse. Yeah. So we got to taking this rebar fence post and funneling a hole. Okay, the pointy end goes up to me. Yep, no the other end. end. Yep, that one is good see that point? You're doing good, buddy. I'm gonna do four at a time. Just Rebecca was like, did you brought fork? I forgot the broad fork. It's too late on the garlic, helps aerate, helps hydrate. Stay with me. Helps aerate, helps hydrate. It's also a great activity to do with chillers. It's not too late to do it for these other rows. 
it's covered cross road. Alright, let's do it this way. Hop over there. So we didn't make it to the end, huh? We didn't. So we're gonna put the rest in the cover, fall cover crop. This row's ready, this row's ready. When Arun gets done with that, that row will be ready for cover crop. So do like what your mom's doing and just spread it. Just one more step before we can go in and that's put down, we have organic straw. Probably gonna do what? Six inch layer? Three to four inches according to the instructions. Kids love to help. And I think I think this might be a winter kill, which means it's just gonna grow for a little bit, die back, and then we'll probably have to put plastic over it. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah. Let me see that. You made this garlic planter. It needs to be sharpened. And we're done. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, we good try, bro. meat based but I figured the occasional fruit isn't that bad. What are y'all making? Smoothie. Nice. I'm making up a recipe. Oh. It's our star It's like an apple mango. What's that? It's a persimmon. You want a piece? Y'all well, should be eating them man. Yeah we, we I eat them whenever I'm hungry. Me too. I don't like cards. Now I'm cooking mine and Rebecca's breakfast. Those of you who are um, in on the polyface designs, particularly the second printing, somewhere along in there, we sold out. He only ordered 5,000 total. And uh, he was selling them, Homesteaders of America was selling them. So they're working as hard as they can to ship them out. Those who are on the second batch, I just heard back from Joel, it's gonna be December 18th till that's ready. So the week of Christmas, we're gonna ship them out. Lord willing, the creek don't rise. They'll get here on those who'll get here on time, and it will ship out right away. And uh, hopefully, most of them will get to folks by Christmas. So, just gonna keep you guys updated on that. And so many of you are now customers. Uh, if you're customers of ours, we're gonna let you know as soon as we know where that cutoff is. We're gonna have them ship as many of as we can of our orders, and then we'll let you know where you stand in there. Otherwise, I mean, I guess if you don't receive your book in a week, you're probably on that back order thing. But hopefully, we'll know. The exact cut off before then. Here you go. You're having a carnivore breakfast. Taking care of member texts? I am. Carnivore breakfast. Thanks. And you had eggs earlier. I know you're rubbing off you. on me. He's rubbing off on me. Or was it the Joe Rogan I podcast? Did, with, well, that is the two. Dr. Every time uh, I like. Dr. Paul. See, that's like it too. Like with the, the uh, cold plunging. You yeah. had got me started on it and I was starting to research it, but then like the more I read about it, I was like, I need this in my life. I know. Listening to that made me remember the cold plunges. I know. That I need, I need to uh, I miss be the more cold plunges. Consistent. I feel like they helped me so much, but yeah. we gotta well, wait. Look. Gotta wait till March. Well, guess what? We did it. We got the garlic in the ground. We'll walk away from that plant until next, uh, June, no, June. June. June, we'll go and harvest it. Garlic is one of the easiest things to grow. Plant it, mulch it, walk away till <laughs> it's ready to be harvested. Walk away, it's 200, that easy. 290 days away. Yeah.